We hear so much about the power of presence and how it is important to be present with the moment. But what is presence? Presence is essentially the silent stillness behind all thought forms. If you pay close attention, you'll see that the mind is constantly offering you a stream of thinking. And what this thinking does is it labels our experience. The mind on a base level is constantly defining things as good and as bad, but that doesn't mean that it is exactly what they are. Your labels of good or bad and the meaning which you impose on any situation, experience or thing is meaning which you have created from thoughts or from identification with the mind. And the mind is only a bundle of conditioning, things you have learned and experienced throughout your lifetime, which then differentiate situations as good or bad. But if you can pay close attention and drop into the stillness of presence, you will notice that the moment you encounter a specific situation or an experience, person or thing, the mind is offering you the labels. The mind is offering the noise which wants you to buy into what it has to offer. The moment you buy into these thought forms, it creates bondage and it creates the sense of separation that I am separate from this experience, person, situation or thing. Think about the actions that you take in your life. What dictates these actions? If there isn't a presence or a level of awareness behind the busyness of the thinking mind, you will then identify with whatever the mind offers. The mind might say, this is not good. And so you take action from the idea that you have that this is not good. A different person experiencing the same situation may label it as okay or even good. So what dictates their actions? Because their actions would be fundamentally different from your idea of what is bad. One of the best analogies that I've heard is that of a forest and the untouched beauty of nature. Even if you were to walk into a forest which has never been touched by man, the mind would want to start labeling everything. You might label the beauty of a plant as good and you might label the decaying or rotting of another plant or organism as bad. Again, separation has occurred when in fact there is a harmony that flows between the forest. What might be deemed as bad by your labels and your meaning making of the situation is actually the decay and rot which sustains the life of the forest. You see, the forest is not operating in separation or division. There is a beautiful, seamless, indivisible whole in the way that the forest operates, we could say, or the way that life is fundamentally sustained. This constant thinking of the mind is what we deem the ego. The ego is constantly giving you something. And the moment you buy into it, you become trapped. What do you become trapped by? Well, you become trapped by thought forms. So start practicing in every situation or scenario that you meet. What is the situation versus what is the mind offering me around this situation? If you can truly be still enough inside, which means if you can be present, you will start to notice that there is this mentation or mental activity which wants to offer you some sort of judgment or label around the specific experience that you're having. But is this label the situation itself? No. And because we label the situation, we then judge the situation and often then do things from our level of judgment and perception of the situation. Presence truly allows you to meet the fullness of life. The more present you can be, the more you will see that reality functions as an indivisible whole and that reality is not actually your mind's ideas of limitation, separation and constant judgment and labeling of what is. And even if you do meet something which you deem not good, not okay or bad, you might buy into the separation. But what you also need to see is that you can't change what already is. What point is there in judging what is arising in the present moment? The present moment is the only moment 
there really actually is. This is why being presence allows you to escape the prison of the mind. And for some people who may hear this, it won't make sense. It won't make sense yet. Everybody is on the evolutionary process of becoming more self-aware, which means understanding this foundation of presence, which is the universe itself. Every experience, every thought, every feeling and every emotion arises in presence or in awareness. But when we label, judge and create separation, then we experience suffering based on what our mind is trying to tell us about something. Start looking for yourself. What is my mind telling me about this situation? When I come into contact with another individual, what is my mind offering me about this person who I may truly not know anything about? And the moment you label is the moment you've identified with thought forms in your mind. Let presence be the silent stillness behind anything you encounter and you will start to experience a greater sense of peace and freedom every single day.